Hi, my name is Dex from MyConsult and today's video, we will be looking at how we can actually create project codes in AutoCAD Accounting. So before we begin, if you'd like to support us, do like and subscribe to help us grow organically and reach more people who might find what we do here helpful for them as well. Alright, so to create a project code, all we just need to do is come here to General Maintenance. You will need to come here to Project Maintenance. Alright, so in here you can see, see a few examples. Uh, one of them would be actually basic project codes such as project A, project B like this and the next one we can just see let's say for example in this example we are going to create we deal with Jaya Grocer alright so Jaya Grocer is our main project code what happens is we know Jaya Grocer might have multiple branches and we want to track the profitability per branch okay so let's say for example now we have Daman Shah Perdana we have one called Clank Barely so we want to create one more say so come here new all we just need to do is we must select here first child grocer then we press here new sub project all right so let's say example you follow the same format jg for child grocer dash bucket bj okay Jaya. So done we just press ok and now we actually have another uh, project so let's say another thing that we can actually control here is let's say for example the project has ended already and it's no longer a project code that you like your client or your team to actually select so here we got one set 501 se we want to inactive it so we just come here we press edit and we select this as not active okay so it becomes non active anymore. Okay. So now, once we actually create a project code, how are we going to tag our transactions to it? So, let's say we want to create some sales transaction for a Jaya Grocer. Let's say we create adapter maintenance first. Say a uh, Jaya Grocer. Okay. Let's open now my sales new invoice. So let's say example now we want to do a few transactions for Jaya Grocer. So Jaya Grocer plus here we can select our item, say ham. Okay, so then from here we actually have one call a project number. So from here we can actually tag it. So say okay, we buy 100 pieces and we save it. Then let's say we create some more invoice. So we select again Jaya Grocer. And press plus. We select another item. Say new. Then we buy here yeah, at this is $2. And we buy 350 pieces. Okay. And then from here we also take another one. Let's say we say Tawan Sapadana. So once you're done, we just press save and we are ready to generate our PNL. Okay, so to generate our PNL, all we just need to do is we come to let's close this one first. So here we come to profit and loss report. So you can either select by project here, you can select one by one each project. If you select here, Jaya Grocer means it will select for all Jaya Grocer projects. All right, if not, then we can actually select from here here if you want to do a comparison so let's say I want to see a project comparison on a month to date level alright so then we can say I want to see Bukit Jelutong I see Daun Sabadana I see Clang Valley okay so let's preview so from here straight away you can actually see my Bukit Jelutong is 400, my Down Sabana is 700, and my total sales for the month is $5,400. So we can actually see how much it's contributing to your sales. Alright, so this is actually how simple it is to manage project codes in AutoCount. Again, do like and subscribe to help us out to reach more people. Thank you.